This is what all the greatest minds in the world have in common. Negativity. People putting down what they are doing, what their inventions are, saying that they will never work or that their ideas are absolute garbage. Nikola Tesla, Thomas Edison told Tesla that his technology would never work. Thomas Edison went out of his way to purposely kill a dog, I believe it was, with Tesla's technology. Um, Wilhelm Reich. Wilhelm Reich discovered orgone. The government didn't like that he was curing cancer with it, so they banned the word orgone. They also forced Wilhelm Reich to burn his own inventions and all his research. What did he... What do these people have in common? Do you know what they have in common? Negative opposing forces stopping them from achieving greatness. Stopping them from changing the world, making life a better place to live. It's as if there is some form of entity or entities. You can call them demons, Illuminati, big bankers, multi-dimensional entities. I don't care, aliens, reptilian shapeshifters. It doesn't matter but I assure you that there are these entities out there stopping the great minds from inventing things. I don't know who they are or what they are exactly, but they exist. They definitely exist. And if you are a genius trapped in the ghetto, which I am most certain a lot of you are, do not give up because there are entities trying to stop us from achieving greatness, such as creating flying cars and curing cancer with frequencies and plant chemicals instead of man-made pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals are designed to keep you dumbed down so you cannot think on your own. TV, other commercials, it's fueled with sex addiction and drug addiction. Take this pill, watch this movie. All this stupid shit that's designed to do one thing. Keep you compliant, keep you a sheep, to stay in the ghetto, to never invent that flying car, to never cure cancer. Or maybe somebody will come out and kill you. That happens too. Uh, Peter Davy invented an ultrasonic frequency device that could boil water. He made tea with a little bell that rang specific frequency. The guy died and his invention disappeared. What happened to Peter Davy? There's so many of these stories, guys. I'll probably make a video on it one day. There's another story of a guy that invented a levitation pad. Out of a specific shell from a beetle, he wouldn't tell anybody what the beetle was because can you imagine if somebody got a hold of that? They would take all the beetles and they would go extinct and we'd never discover how they actually worked. But some people believe that these beetles had a specific pattern within their shells that allowed them to manipulate the gravity. So that's interesting. I don't know exactly how it works, but I'm sure it did work. Did that guy's work? All disappeared. There's some video footage, I believe, of him flipping things, levitating them. That's gone. That great invention. All with one thing in common people stopping them from achieving greatness, keeping you, keeping them in the ghetto. I beg of you, if you are that genius, do not give up. Do not cave in to the darkness. Do not take that pill to create ills. Instead, take that root to build a foundation. Build your roots strong so when they try to take you down, you will not fall down. Instead, you will bend like a plant and you will bounce back and you will smack them down because your inventions will be so powerful that they will not be able to fight back. We will one day have flying cars and nobody will stop us from achieving those flying cars, I assure you. We will one day be on Mars. People will try to stop us from that. There will be wars on Mars. I wouldn't doubt that there was a war there before and that's why it's empty now. There's a lot we don't know about our species, and I assure you, a lot of it has to do with people stopping us from achieving greatness. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. 
Do you think there are people stopping us from achieving greatness, or is it just our own minds? Or are people just crazy? Or is it evolution? Is it just survival of the fittest? Some people have a lot of money, so they control us. So that's their fit. They don't want somebody else to make more money, so they do whatever they can to stop them. Or maybe survival of the fittest is a thing, but there are multidimensional entities or whatever still trying to stop us regardless. And that all of these rules apply. Let me know. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit like on this video, like your life depends on it. I don't normally record with my phone, it's kind of weird, but I just had this thought and I wanted to get it out. Um, I probably didn't edit out my stuttering, so I do have a speech problem. I fell off my bicycle, that's something I want you guys to know about me. But falling off that bike, it opened up my mind. It's so weird, I never thought I would believe in that until it happened to me. I used to read about people understanding things better after they had a head injury. I guess it's real, but it also screws you up at the same time. With lots of anxiety, uh, lots of pain in the neck, literally pain in the neck. You probably saw me rubbing my neck. Anyway, stay strong everybody, stay motivated, 